Hey guys, so welcome to our second video. So this one is all about the demo of the house. So our first video was just showing you the house when we bought it. And this one's going to be all about how we've taken down walls and taken up our floor and showing you how we demoed everything we're getting rid of. We will be filming another video. So that one will be all about how we are building things back up and doing more things to the house. So two of the jobs that were high on our priority were knocking down the two walls that were between the kitchen and the what's going to be the living room and then that living room and the dining room. Uh, so when we first bought it, it was just kitchen, the middle room was a bedroom and then the back room was like a little sunroom and we just wanted to make it a whole open living area. So yeah, the wall that was between the kitchen and the middle room um, we first saw how to put a lintel in, so we jackhammered through the mortar at the top just so we could slide some big heavy lintel in that when we were hammering it to really get it in there. I think I went deaf because it was so loud, but we got that in and then the other wall that was the sunroom and the middle living area, uh, it was a double brick wall so we had to take the big window out that was there because that was originally the back of the house so we had to get that big window out and then we put an LVL piece of wood yep. there to support the roof and then build a frame up around it to save the roof from falling down. So both of the walls, we originally wanted to knock down three of the walls in the house and all three were structural so that made things a little bit harder because you can still knock it down but you just have to leave a little edge and a little top just so it's kind of like a big art yeah like an archway type of thing so we had to do that with the wall between the kitchen and the wall between the dining room so when we knocked down all of the walls we had three different floors that were all kind of different heights <laughs> because we had one room which was floorboards that were originally in the house another room was carpet and another room was tiles so we ripped up the carpet and it was just floorboards underneath which is good unpolished though so they were pretty different looking to the ones that we had. So trying to make all three of the rooms have the same floor was a bit hard, but we have Joe who's a carpenter, so he's got a lot of experience laying floorboards and laying decks and things like that. So he had to just build a frame over the tiles to make it match our floorboards. Um, another issue was that the floorboards under the carpet kind of like bowed. bowed. <laughs> Because all of our floors were different levels, Joe ended up ripping up half of our floorboards and then he tried to lay down some of the old ones again but we ended up having to buy a whole new bunch of floorboards um, which were all Baltic pine because that was the original pine we had to match the rest of the house. So we've ripped up the floorboards, we've laid our new ones down and now they're all different colours but that's fine because we're getting them sanded, stained and polished. Um, we can't not stain them because they're all different colours, so we had to pick a stain. We have about, yeah, four different, even the ones that were already <laughs> out, I think in the kitchen was covered with lino already, so I had it like matured yeah. already, so the floor even the ones that were already done with <laughs> yeah. two different tones. Hey, long time no chat, it's been a few weeks since we've had our first sit down video we have with you. Uh, a lot has changed since then, we haven't really been filming too much, we've just been tackling it head on and forgetting about <laughs> keeping track of it. So this room is obviously a bit different. We've got the two walls together that we were saying about the first video. So we've got the lintel that's going in and then the framework out on that. Then the room with the window has come out and we've got the jib rock all up on that wall. I mean, Joe did it, not us. Uh, the carpet in the middle room has been ripped up and then the floorboards were ripped up, the ones that were bad. And we've got all that put down again as well. Had our electrician come in, he's changed some of the things, put in some PowerPoints for us. So for our bathroom, we aren't doing a big remodel of this one at the moment because we need to finish our laundry first. So we just chose to paint the tiles that we originally had. So we painted them with the Dulux Renovation Range tile paint in Lexicon Quarter, which is pretty much just white. And we had to do three coats over the blue tiles and it came up really well. With all of the rest of the fixtures in the room, uh, we decided to just utilize what was already there when we bought the house. There was just like a towel 
rack, the toilet paper holder and stuff like that. So we just got a can of matte black spray paint and gave that a few coats and it came up looking really nice and we just put them back on. And we just decorated it with a big mirror and some plants and new towels. Big remodel will come when we've got the money for it. Uh, so in the front room, there was also a lovely little fireplace that we were toying with the idea of keeping or getting rid of. And we thought, if we're gonna get rid of it, we should do it now. Uh, so we had to just take the tiles off, get the bricks off to flush it with the wall. And we also had to jackhammer the little cement step that was in the ground, which was a fun job for me. So at the same time as all of this is happening, we are building up the new wall that goes in between our two bedrooms, so our second bedroom and our third bedroom. We were planning to knock down the wall between them, but instead we thought we would put up a wall in the bigger bedroom and then utilise those two spaces between it as like a little walk-in robe instead of completely knocking down the structural wall. Yeah, so we've been building the wall, we built the frame, put up the jib rock ourselves, uh, well, Joe did. <laughs> and then to flush it, which is like putting all of the top coat, cement, sort of. top coat stuff over the nails and sanding and all that, we got a professional to do that just because there was a guy who knew how to do it and was pretty cheap and he would and have taken us a really long time. Yeah, it's just time consuming for us to do it or Joe to do it for us. Yeah. I have tackled this job of chilling away. We did have a big bedroom piece and a little fireplace here with a gas heater, but we have taken it out because it's about 30 years old and not very good. Uh, so we just chipped it back beyond the wall um, so we can go over it. We just had to brick up the middle bit and Joe laid some cement here just to flatten the ground because this room's going to be all carpet eventually. Um, so another thing that we had to do outside of the house, so we've been doing our front yard and backyard while we're doing the rest of it. So we had a lot of fruit trees, which like we love fruit trees, but also they were in the way of like directly where we're going to put our fence. So we had to get them cut down, they sorry. Were also really, <laughs> they were also really low, so you couldn't yeah. really just walk under it was like, like a normal tree. Um, we cut down all the trees ourselves, just down to the stump. We did get an arborist to come in and they cut down all the trees. So crazy. Yeah, how many, so they cut down like five stumps and one whole tree. So in the backyard, we ripped up all the bricks and the pavers and we also cut down an olive tree that was in the backyard. So now we just have some dirt and concrete and a lemon tree and we are going to deck the whole area so that will look very nice when we're done. So we also had to cut down a third wall that was in the laundry. It's the wall that was between the actual laundry area and like a spare second toilet that we had. We just thought it would make it one big space and we just knocked down that wall. We've left a little bit of a like half wall sort of bit um, just for when we put a, because we're gonna put a shower in there. It's gonna act like a shower shelf sort of thing, um, which we'll, yeah, just put the glass coming up from that and put little shampoo bottles or whatever you need in the shower. <laughs> so, our laundry, we have done a layer on the floor. We aren't completely <laughs> sure what we're gonna do, but we've got the washing machine here. We're gonna have a big timber bench going all the way across, and then we're gonna have our sink here. And then we've got our shower set out here on the floor, so it comes out a little bit wider than the bench, but that's because you need space in the shower. So this wall is non-low bearing, <laughs> so we are going to take it down to about here, so we can have a little bench for to put things in the shower, and we'll get getting rid of that to about here. And then in this room, so the toilets in here, which will be completely open now, next to the shower. And we're going to put in a doorway in that area. And then we're going to be able to walk straight outside to hang out our laundry. And we're also going to put in cupboards there, maybe. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed our demo video. We are also posting on our Instagram at Cam and Hearts Instablog. So follow that for all the updates and stories and in the moment action. <laughs> for the next video, we'll be showing our floorboards that will be all nicely sanded and stained mm -hmm. so they'll all be one colour hopefully. <laughs>
Uh, the bedroom will be all carpeted and the fireplace will be gone forever. And then the one after that will probably be some more... Living it. Yeah. <laughs> showing how we furnish it and stuff like that. So that'll be interesting. Yay. Stop it. Ah! <laughs> Feel, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>